Yeah, boy. Now that's a lot of damage! Fine, nigga. <laughs> Good YouTube, you know who it is. It's the boy, it's the man, the legend, King CJ himself. And today, man, I got a video for all my people out there. If you are a Storm player, you're gonna wanna stick around for this video. As you guys seen in that beginning, that trailer, I have been in the lab, I've been testing out some PVP things for my Storm, and I feel like as far as a budget build goes, that's what I want this video to be. I want it to be a budget. Hi guys, Editor CJ here, here to pop in to tell you guys, um, when I mean budget friendly, free to play kind of builds, I mean this is something that's probably going to get you over the hoop of maybe living in a range of 25 to 30 kills, yeah, on occasion it's going to get you 35 to 40 kills. This is just something to get you guys in the top 100, so you can go ahead and grab those 500 crystals a week. Just so we can clarify of what I mean by that. Alrighty, um, thank you. Peace. So I'm just gonna show you guys how what, what's the best, the quintessential budget build that you can do with your storm. Now there's gonna be different ways you can take this. And there's also some skills that you might, you know, depending on what you roll. But disclaimer, everybody, everyone's RNG is a lot different and you, you will see what I'm saying. Okay, so First I'm gonna go off and start by saying I Got I got a new PC right here. So this is gonna be my last video on this PC Thank God I was waiting to get done with this one. This one is a piece of crap. So I got this new one I'm gonna be upgrading the parts. Um, probably gonna be switching my parts from this PC to this one. Hopefully, maybe. Who knows? The world may never know. So that's the plan that I got going there. But let's go ahead and hop into this build. So I have two different sets on my storm. Now, one set I do not use for, you know. Omega War, I kind of use it for, you know, if I go against Spider-Man's Dimension Duels, because this is where it comes in when I say, everybody's RNG is different, right? This is what I mean. So, when I use my Xandar set, this is what my stats look like. I'm only two off away from max crit. Um, only have, I got 75% PVP decrease, 37% PVP damage, only 30% cooldown. So that's kind of how my stats look over there when I have my Xandar set. Now, however, I come over to my Hydra set, as you guys can see, I pull it up on my Hydra set and these are what my skill, this is what I look like right here. So it all depends on what your RNG is. Cause as you guys can see, those of us who does play Storm, we know that the Hydra set gives you more critical rating but some reason my critical rating on my Hydra is like 55%. But when I come over to my Xandar set, because it rolled four crit, I have almost max crit rate. So just take into account, take with a grain of salt when I do put these builds out here. But for sure, best two sets to go with her, of course, Xandar, Hydra, either way it can go. So let's go ahead and move into one of the, the most pivotal things that I feel that all Storms players should go ahead and invest in when it comes to this, so you guys would know. If you're going PvP, this one right here is an essential, is very, very essential, because we all have our bubble, and the bubble is the thing that keeps us alive. So as you can see in my videos, I was able to bubble, hop right in, bubble again, AoE attack, smack dead, dead, I was able to absorb all that. So this allows you to spam that much more quicker and much more efficient. Um, now, as everything else goes, another thing that I use that I found has been very beneficial is also my dodge. So invest in that as well. Now, there was one that I always say is kind of 
no brainer, but the difference is is even when you're playing PvP, you can still get away with using ice damages. I mean ice skills. Yeah, you can get away with using ice skills. So you might not even really want to need that if you don't want to. I mean, I would highly recommend it because of electrocutioner, but you know. But again, you do have I think it's this one right here. Is it this one? Yes, you can use that as well if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is an option. So and everything else, look, you're a storm player. You figure out what you want. Of course, you can use this as well if you have the stamina to go for it. So, whew, as you can see, I didn't even have them all 10-10. So, again, when I say this is a budget build, this is a budget build. Now, you come over here to the enhanced potentials. I do not put that. I thought they were switching out all the status effect accuracies. Anyway, these two, don't even worry about them. This is what we want you guys to invest in, though. Invest into that defense appears. Invest into your cooldown and critical damage. And then we have accuracy rate. Go ahead and invest in that as well. And then the rest of the points is go ahead and knock up your attack. And if you have anything left over, probably throw it in your HP. You just want to stack up as much HP as possible. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys the campaigns that I have. Again, this is very budget friendly. I... <laughs> Like a lot of these things, I I don't really spend that much money on this game anymore. So I know my companions look, look compared to other YouTubers, but that's okay. So when I do a Mega War, this is kind of what I go with. I love Ultron. He drops the shield. And we all know where you can get Ultron from now, guys. So like I said, this is a budget friendly and a free to play build that I have going on right now. And I really meant that. Because where can you get Ultron shards? Uh, as much as as much as BS as it is that they get Ultron shards, now we don't. Ultron shards right here. Go ahead and rank up all your alts if you can. Get them during the, get them through Dormammu. Go ahead and get those Ultron shards so you can have them three stars. Very beneficial to your roster. Now the probably least budget friendly that I have on this build. Um, hold on, let me go over to my C loadout. It would probably be my Omega cards. And that's because I have these two special cards right here. And then on top of those two special cards, they kind of rolled like some nasty godlike rolls. <laughs> so that's kind of where that's the, yeah, you see what I'm saying here? So yeah i can see how people would look at these and they're kind of like yeah that's not really feasible well however i still have my defensive pierce card i have my critical damage card and i also have my accuracy rate card and i'm kind of i'm in this bad position right now because these three cards rolled some good rng as the second start stat so i don't really want to you know, rank it up to six starting is something worse. So that's kind of where I'm at. But if you can supplement your this, these two cards that I have here, but again, like I said, this is really budget and free to play friendly because they're just, they really been popping out special cards. Maybe you can get lucky, get one. The world may never know. But in the meantime, if you can't, there are some other cards that I definitely would run. And in this case, I will go ahead and put in this critical rate card. This card that I always told you guys about that I, in my opinion, feel like as a Storm player, is not debatable, not questionable. Hell, even with my RNG that you guys see what I have all those critical rates, I still need this card per se. Um, it's, and when I, when I mean by that is, if I don't use this card, then I have to take up slots using like critical rate in my bad slots. So if I don't want to do that, then I have to put this card on it. Uh, there are there are some other cards that can work as well. Um, let me find it. Where are you at? They are the Hella Crit Damage card, and they're also the Hella Crit Rate card. And those give you some accuracy rate as well. So if you can find a way to get those two in there for those two, you know, special cards that I have in there, I think you will be absolutely fine. Now let's go over to the skills. I'm gonna pop into this one so I can go ahead and show you what I run. So, when I come in, the biggest thing I have in my mind is 
I want to survive, and but I also want to spam at the same time. So this that I have here allows me to spam at the same time. So let's go ahead and open up my wheel. Now, of course, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be playing, you know, manual. But in a in a good world, you would probably have your skill cooldown. This is what that be. Let me go over here to the skill so you can see it. It decreases the skill cooldown and it also helps with over capping as well for any with that ice that I just gave you guys like this cooldown right here if I go over to it you will see it it's on a cooldown of 30 seconds and uh, what was that I like I already have 30 cooldown percentage and on top of that 20% of that percent of cooldown from my skill it over cap so I'd be like at 50 something semi percent so I'll probably be like a 15% cooldown, you know, roughly average. But with this as well, since it helps me over cap that, if I pop this and then I pop that, it usually has me around nine, eight second mark of having that bubble up, which is fantastic. So what I always like to go is you like to come over, open up with this, pop your ice shield, and you always gonna throw this down as well. Big large AOE radius, that's just something to get you through. Same with this as well, something to get you through. You just wanna go in there, kamikaze it. If you get in, you, you get your kills, and you get out, or you get in, do at least some damage. Cause your, your main job as a storm, you're gonna be in there, you're, you wanna trickle the damage in, right? I mean, you, as much as you wanna get the kills, you know, us storm players, you know, unless if we're throwing off electrocution, right? Unless if we're throwing this off, we're not, you know, but you know you you're gonna you're gonna go in there wipe some people out so that's fantastic and then we got the good old bread and butter skill voila and i think the perfect thing about this build as well is this build can absolutely work with the um 80 set because you're really only you're really only like like i, like I always tell people when you play storm you're really only looking for this skill every other thing is like a, a plus bonus to it so 80s you just can work with it as well so that is fantastic that is one thing i do like about storm um let me see if there's anything else that i can give you guys to help you guys on your way oh play style let me let me because i feel like a lot of storms don't know this let me give you some hands right so when you first start off your omega world okay guys you want to travel the outskirts and we all know people like the AFK. I'm just putting you guys on game, so just pay attention. When you go to the back of the spawn, you're, it's always gonna be people back there that's just not moving. So go over there, pop your little, do your little thing, get your, get your couple kills out the gate if you can. But other than that, because once, once the beginning happens, all the whales and these two competitive players that are playing, they're not gonna want you to go smack on the people in the back to get points. So they're more they're gonna like manage the outside so so then that's where you kind of go to go into the fray and then you got to figure out when is the best time to throw your skills you can't just throw out you know your tornado skill and you don't have no dodge on you you don't have no invincibility on you like you know you gotta pick and choose when you want to do that okay that is one that's another big deal i wanted to give to you storm players just just take your time with it okay because at, at the end of the day storm is still not a good player uh, well, not a good PvP player. Now, there are Storms who are doing fantastic in Dimension to do it with the bubble spam, but I don't do that, and I don't have the money for that. And you, if you're watching this, looking for a low-budget build, you don't have the money for it as well. So, <laughs> yeah, I hate to break it to you, man. That's just how it goes. But if you do take the route of Storm, to pvp i hope that this guy was able to help you guys i i tried my best you know i got so much gameplay so many screenshots and in fact if i can i'm gonna just go ahead and throw up a screenshot somewhere up here to just show what i'm doing if, if i can find something for it but again man if you have any questions you can always come to my discord ask me we got people asking those questions all the time or you can just ask me down below in the comment sections man i would let you know as well oh also donna still works so you know if you can't find a way to get ultron but you find a way to get donna donna still works it gives you gives you some more oomph to your punch so 
<sighs> and then I do have a Dimension Dual build, but I am I'm waiting on that one just a little bit, just a little bit. So yeah. Well, news came out about Danny. We have a video up on. We're gonna have a video up on that later. So um, thanks for stopping by, my guys. And I, it's your boy King CJ. And we out of here. Cut.